Idris Elba stars in the new Netflix movie Luther the Fallen Son. Uh, this is a spin-off movie from the TV show Luther. Elba plays DCI John Luther, although he's he's not quite a cop in this. He's had his uh, his badge taken away from him. Uh, he's been put into prison, but when something happens, when some, when some new villain kind of hits the scene, he, he's kind of forced to escape from prison in order to pursue this man and bring him down. Uh, that man is played by none other than Gollum himself, Andy Serkis. This is my introduction to Luther. So you can take this as a point of interest, I guess, if you're someone who's never seen the TV show and you want to know, will this movie work for me? Uh, the answer is, yeah, this movie stood on its own perfectly fine. We don't have to have seen the TV show to, to say, OK, this, this is a bent copper. He's, he's gone, gone to prison for being a bent copper. And now he's trying to he's, he's got a decision to make uh, to, to, to get back on the good side of the law. So there's a character journey there that, you know, it's not necessary to have seen the TV show to to fill in those blanks. But I do feel like that perhaps, well, basically it makes me want to go and watch a TV show. So, you know, job done. It's really dark, I'll say that much. It gets it's darker than I was expecting it. Andy Serkis as a villain in this, he's, he's very much in the vein of the Joker, Heath Ledger's Joker. Not in the way that he acts, but in, in the way that he conducts his business. You know, these, these elaborate schemes, these big plans that you know, orchestrating huge set pieces that obviously take a lot of planning and a lot of brain power to put into motion. Uh, and partly as well, he, he's kind of a bit of a Bond villain as well. Towards the end of the movie, when we see his base of operations, his hideout, so to speak, it almost feels very Bond villain-esque. I think some would argue that the primary themes that the film explores with regards to modern media and how it often uh, can be used by nefarious people for nefarious means. Uh, I, I think some people would say that, yeah, okay, maybe maybe it's a 10 years too late, uh, but I think it's an issue that's never going to go away. You know, it's, 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 a, it's a theme that's always going to be worth exploring uh, the more that time moves on, because this stuff is only going to get worse. The, the primary draw with this was this central character of Luther, was the performance by Idris Elba. This was a character that I enjoyed following. He's a broken man. He's not your perfect kind of copper who's by the book and, and kind of everybody loves him. And, you know, he, he's... He's actually in a pretty broken place when we find him. Yes, he's smart. Yes, he he's very good at reading people. But actually, th there's not much love in the room for him when other people are around. Uh, so he's he's got a lot of redemption to earn throughout this film. That's essentially what the film is about, him earning his redemption. Circus was very watchable. I will say that there are times when his wardrobe is a little bit off. Uh, more, more to the point, his hair and makeup. Um, like, there was a point in this film when I started to wonder if Circus was playing two people and that that would be like a twist in the tale. Because from scene to scene, his hair seems completely different. And I was like, oh, is that... So is, is there a rich version? Is it like a twin brother where one's rich and he's getting up to stuff and there's, there's one who's on the street and he's kind of like trying to trying to bring his brother to, to light? And no, it's not. It is the same character. Uh, so, yeah, it, it, I think they just didn't do a particularly good job on the hair front of the consistency of making him look the same throughout the film. Cynthia Erivo in this is very good as well. So she plays this DCI who she's kind of, she's now in the position, I guess, that Luther was in, or, 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 or has taken the place of whoever would have been his boss. Um, and she really doesn't like him at the start of this film. She doesn't want to know anything uh, that he's got to offer because, you know, he's, he tries to tell them who's responsible for this, tries to, tries to clue them in on what's going on. And they don't want to know because as far as she's concerned, he's just a bent copper uh, and he's and he's just trying to do anything he can to get back out in, in the real world. So, yeah, she goes on this journey of, of learning to trust him over the course of the film. 
Uh, and I think that journey as well is really well played. Uh, at one point, you know, her own child kind of is, is put in danger and there's one particular scene that, well, to, to be quite honest, as a parent, it, it, it was just hard to watch and I think that uh, Arivo played it really well. Like, I, I, it was a real gut punch. Uh, just one particular moment in the film where I was like, "Oh wow, are they are they going there?" And and yeah, based on her performance, I, I was just like, "Wow, man, that's that's quite powerful." It's it's shot pretty well, you know. It it looks nice. It doesn't look like TV. It definitely looks like it. You know, it deserves to be on the big screen. Although, as I say, it's on Netflix, so I don't think most people will be watching this on the big screen. Uh, but but it it is cinematic. It feels cinematic. You know, I've I've seen other shows that have gone to the big screen, and you kind of think, ah, okay. It it feels like an episode of a TV show, but it's just on the big screen. Uh, like Spooks, for example. I like Spooks. I thought Spooks was was a good show, but uh, when I yeah when I saw the movie to that that they did, I was just like, oh, okay. It just yeah, it just looks like an episode of Spooks. This feels cinematic. It looks like they've gone to great lengths to, to make it bigger. Luther, The Fallen Sun. Uh, are you a fan of the TV show? Were you looking forward to this movie uh, before it came out? Um, or have you seen this movie in it and is it your introduction to the character? Let me know what you thought about it if you've seen it down in the comments section below. Thank you for watching this review and until next time, Cracking.